In this Circuits of the Past video, Herman shows you both versions of the current layouts of the TT Circuit Assen in the Netherlands. While you enjoy the onboard footage, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of the TT Circuit of Assen, home of the Dutch Grand Prix for the MotoGP. The current TT Circuit in Assen originated from a semi-street circuit that opened in 1955. This semi-street circuit was in turn created from a full street circuit that was in use from 1926 right the way up to 1954. Assen is basically a circuit transformer. In contrast to today's track, the old street circuit was only used for the annual Dutch TT motorcycle races. There was already a Dutch TT in 1925, not too far from Assen. However, because the first project needed some improvements and politicians, as usual, didn't want to invest, the Dutch TT moved to Assen in 1926. In the 1950s, the municipal of Assen wanted to reconstruct the track. The street circuit ran not just through Assen though, it also ran through the town of Balen, and the mayor of Balen didn't want to cooperate. At least, that's what the people of Assen were told. In Balen, they were told that Assen wanted all the profits for the Dutch TT for themselves. Ha! Politics. In a record time of only four months, they built the new 7.7km, .7 or 4.78 miles, if you're like me, long semi-street circuit. The people of Assen nicknamed it the Miracle of Assen. Hallelujah! While angry people in Balen predicted that it would soon all be over for the, quote, Mickey Mouse track. The part we're at now was actually a public road and was part of the old street circuit. However, when it was a street circuit, it was driven in the opposite direction. Where we now turn right, the public road ran straight and the drivers came from that direction. We now enter the Southern Loop, which was one of the permanent sections of the semi street circuit. This section runs exactly along the border with the municipality of Balen. Originally, there was a fast right kink here, followed by a slower banked left-hander. In 2005, they demolished the original corners and straightened up the track. We now enter the double right-hand corners of Mandeveen and Doikersloot. Actually, the original corners used to be where the gravel trap is now. In 2002, they moved both corners to the inside to create a bigger runoff on the outside. The double right-hander leads to the most demanding part of the TT Circuit Assen, which has been untouched by modernisation, at least with regard to the layout. The runoff areas have been enlarged and the grass has been replaced by asphalt in the corners. This is the most feared part of the TT Circuit Assen, with short straights and fast kinks. The last kink of the series is the Ramshoek corner. Here ended the southern loop where it was a semi-street circuit. From here on out, we're on former public road, which is where we have driven in the same direction as it was in 1926 through to 1954. This chicane was originally a fast kink. For safety, they modified it into a chicane in 1976. While we start our lap on the faster version of the TT Circuit Assen, I want to introduce that driver. That's Herman Lischmeyer, founder of Circuits of the Past website and YouTube channel. I'm Simon Smith, I just do the voiceovers. I run a gaming channel on YouTube called Higher Plane Games if you're interested. Now we enter the stadium section, which replaces the old northern loop and has done since 2006. To bring the relatively long circuit into a more common 4.5 kilometres or 2.8 miles, they abandoned the northern loop. For the vacated site, they had ambitious plans, such as an exhibition hall, a hotel, casino and a cinema. However, only the expo hall has actually been realised so far. If you want to see what's left of the old northern loop, I recommend the videos of previous versions of TT Circuit Assen found on the channel. We're now on the fast V-slank section, to the famous Ruskenhoek corner. In previous lap, Herman took the chicane at Ruskenhoek, but now he takes the faster version. Originally, the Ruskenhoek was an easy full throttle kink in the fastest section of the track. Speeds of over 300 kilometers an hour reached here. 
so after a reconstruction in 2002 they made it a little bit slower. However, the new section was highly criticised by the drivers and replaced by a single chicane in 2005. In 2010 they created a double version of the Ruskin Hoke. A slow version is used for most racing series, whilst the fast variant is used for the MotoGP and Superbikes. For this occasion, Herman had permission to film some laps here on a day when the track was being serviced. So this was filmed completely legal. But in the past, things had been different. When the TT circuit of Assen was a semi-permanent circuit, it was open for public most days of the year. Not only the part that was the main road, but also the northern and the southern loops. Both permanent loops lead precisely to nowhere, except to the farmer's land on the inside of the track. So if you fancy a cheap sheep, you know where to go. Some naughty boys like to play racing driver here though on these permanent loops, and one of them, as he seems to get around all of these tracks, is Herman, <laughs> who first came here back in 1989, probably making some of you feel very young and some of us feel very old. <laughs> but after some grave accidents happened, the City Council of Assen decided to close the circuit for traffic in 1992. Since then, the TT Circuit Assen has been a fully permanent racetrack. Until the 1990s, car racing was practically taboo at Assen. However, when Assen became a permanent track in 1992, the circuit could be used every day of the year, so it became much more commercialised, or commercial orientated at least. As a result, car races have now been held at Assen since the 90s. If you want to know more about the history of the TT Circuit of Assen, you can visit the website www.circuitsofthepast.com. On that website, you can find a download of a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. I bet this one isn't on it. <laughs> for now, though, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss our next video from a circuit of the past and occasionally from the present too.